It is already past one, and we are now just making breakfast or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I just want to talk about this for a second. These are the two accessories we've bought so far for our little machine over here. This is a dosing ring. It's aluminum and it's really sturdy. I got it for really cheap on Shopee. It is for when we are grinding beans so that the beans don't fall off the portafilter because sometimes the beans heap up and fall out. This has been super helpful. It's been helping us save a lot of beans. I don't like wasting any beans or coffee grounds. And we we recently got a silicone tamping pad. It just stays here. It doesn't slide. Put the portal filter here when you're tamping it. You can put the tamper here. It makes tamping so much more easier. It took us a while to buy this because we thought we could do without it. But our counter was getting ruined. Even if we put a towel while tamping, our counter got messed up and we didn't want to use that for tamping. So it covers the scratches and it helps us have have a more stable base for tamping. I usually do my makeup off camera but last week I went to the beach so I feel like my face got a little bit darker just a little bit and at the same time my mom gave me this foundation that is darker than my usual foundation so I wanted to do a practice run on camera. Okay Maybelline Dream Wonder. It comes with a stick. That's weird. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. The foundation is very silky, so I think that's because of the sunscreen. I don't know. The coverage seems fine. So far, it looks okay to me. The coverage is fine, especially for an everyday makeup look. I'm gonna add the rest of my makeup and see how that looks like. how beauty youtubers do this all the time because having the camera on while doing your makeup just makes you more conscious about how long you're taking with your makeup or do they turn off the camera i don't know we'll never know okay so this is how it looks like i'm not sure what you guys think if you want to let me know you can let me know in the comments it looks like it matches and it matches with the rest of my makeup as well i'm not really sure my lighting is really bad right now in terms of the foundation i really like it it's really silky it feels good it's very light it doesn't feel that bad and it has sunscreen so that's a plus point okay uh, we need some coffee I don't know about you guys, but making coffee is just such an experience for me. Getting to do it every day, it's just so exciting and I can't explain it. It just makes me feel great and that's why I always take videos and photos of my coffee. I know some of you understand and maybe some of you are sick of seeing my coffee videos, but you guys have no idea how happy I am to have this thing and that's why I'm just filming it every single time. And if you guys want your own espresso machine, I really hope you do get one. I've been wanting this for years and that's why I'm just like, making the most out of it, you know? I'm going to use our timer and let's go. Twenty-three seconds. We did okay. We did twenty-three seconds because this is one shot and the beginning was a little bit watery. The crema is still okay. This should be enjoyable. We turn that off. Do this pour you know i can't do without it since this is one shot it's not gonna go up to here so we're not gonna get that aesthetic but we are gonna get the aesthetic of the pour thank you for coming to my ted talk got some beans from shopee let's open this together um i feel like there's a more proper way to open this but I'm not doing it. I ordered from Shopee because I, you know, checked out the seller and it seems to be like really fresh beans. So packaging is thorough. I am not trying these beans today, but I can already tell that it's gonna be good. It had a lot of good reviews from people who drink different kinds of coffee. I mean, not just espresso, not just pour over. We'll see how it goes, but let's talk about packaging. 
The paper is a little ruined. I mean, that's given because it was delivered. Paper gets ruined easily. So I got Sagada Medium Rose. I got it from this shop. You want to go check them out? They're on Shopee. What I like about this is that they gave me a rose day. It was roasted about a week ago. Maybe it comes from a different place. That's why it takes time for them to bring it to wherever they package it. But for me personally, that's fine. Again, I'm not an expert yet, so I can't really taste the difference when it's like a week old. But I do taste the difference when it's like months old. This is fine. You order by the kilo, so it doesn't matter. Let's open it and smell it because that's my favorite part about getting new beans. Oh my goodness, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay, I love the medium roast because you get a lot more of the fruity flavor and it's like more distinguishable. I mean, that's for me personally and I'm still learning. That's what I'm loving right now. A few weeks ago on Instagram stories, I asked you guys what you wanted to see more of during my vlogs. And some of you guys said you wanted to hear more about my walk with God, the insights I get or the things I'm learning. So I'm really happy about that and hopefully this will help you in your life as well. So so I want to share a few verses and a short encouragement before I let you go. So recently, God has been really teaching me to just let Him take control of my life, take care of my plans and goals and my dreams. It's really good to plan, it's really good to dream, and it's really good to have goals in your life. I think we all should have that. And at the same time, God really places those dreams in our hearts. But at the same time, I think He puts those things in our hearts because He also wants us to learn to give those things to him because only he can make those dreams happen if it is really from him and at the same time when he makes those things happen it's like full potential I hope you guys understand what I'm saying so I've been learning this every single day reminding myself about it and I wanted to share a verse with you guys it is from where is it from it's from Isaiah 55 8 to 9 and if you read the Bible you're probably familiar with this verse but if you want to check it out on your own that's great as well so it says my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts says the Lord and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine for just as the heavens are higher than the earth so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts I know a lot of people want to be in control of their lives they want to know what to do next they want to plan ahead and again planning is good but personally if I was in charge of my own life I would be more anxious I would be more scared I would be so fearful because I am so limited limited resources can only do so much I am human I make mistakes so just imagine being in control of your own life that just puts all the pressure on you and I think people don't realize that that giving their plans and their dreams and their goals to God just lifts the pressure off of you it just makes me feel so much relief because again I'm just limited giving my hopes and dreams to God letting him be in charge of my safety my health my family my future that makes me feel so much better because he has all the resources he is unlimited he doesn't make any mistakes and whether my dreams happen or not I know that if I gave everything up to him whatever happens is probably for my own well-being and that just gives me so much peace it takes away fear it takes away anxiety it takes away doubt so that was basically an extension of what I wrote here but basically I can't be in control of my life and that's okay with me and that's because I know that someone who loves me, someone who is bigger than me, someone who is in control of every other thing in the universe is in control of my life, then I'm fine and I feel great and hopefully <laughs> that encouraged you guys or maybe that would give you some food for thought if you guys have any thoughts on what I just said you can comment them down below you can message me I don't know whatever you want but hopefully what I said made sense I also hope that it helped you in some way that's it for today's vlog thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one you can go now bye <laughs>